Hello everyone, myself Samji Patel. This is my second video on Easy EDA series. In my previous video, I showed you how you can download and install the Easy EDA on Windows operating system. And today in this video, I am going to discuss about wiring tools and drawing tools in Easy EDA. Wiring tools and drawing tools is always used in designing a simple or complex schematic diagram or printed circuit board. Here is the wiring tool. You can also change the position of wiring tool and drawing tool on the canvas according to your requirement. Sometimes these tools may not be visible to you. For that, click on this view option of the ribbon and then check that drawing tools and wiring tools are marked or not. If I unmark the drawing tools and the wiring tools that I am not able to see the drawing tools and the wiring tools anywhere on my canvas. So I again click on view and then mark the drawing tool and wiring tool. And here is a minus so click on it and all the tools under the wiring tools category will be disappeared. So again click on this square option and all the tools will come back again. The first tool of the wiring tool is wire. Wire is used to connect two ends of the electronic component. For example, I am just taking two registers R1 and R2 and I am connecting this end of this R1 to this end of the R2 register with the help of wire tool. Now click on wire tool and bring the pointer of the mouse to this end and as soon as this tiny black point appears press the left key of the mouse and move the mouse towards right side and as soon as the cursor reaches to another end of the register R2 then this black point appears again and now again click on the left button of the mouse and now you have successfully connected two registers in series. Now connect these two registers in parallel so for that again click on wire tool we can also select the wire tool by pressing the w key of the keyboard connect this terminal of the upper register to this terminal of the lower register and then connect this terminal of the upper register to this terminal of the lower register if we place the register on the wire then it will automatically connect it to this wire in this way. Similarly, if I put a capacitor on the wire then it will also connect itself to the wire. Now you will be understood. Now you will understood how we can use the wire tool. The next tool is bus. I will talk um, about these three tools bus, bus entry and net level in my next video because these tools are basically used for designing complex schematic diagrams. So I will create a separate video on them. The next tool is net flag count. So basically this flag is connected to the terminal of the schematic where the voltage is 0 volt. And the next is net flag GND. These two flags are similar. The only difference is 
between their symbols. And the next flag is net port. The net port is similar to wiring tools, but the net port is used to reduce the wiring complexity of the circuit. For example, if I want to connect these two registers in series, then we can use the net port. And for that, I connect the net port 2 to this terminal of the register R1 and I connect the second net port to this terminal of the register and just change the name. You have to keep the name of the both net port same. So now we have successfully connected these two registers in series. So this is the main advantage of using net port. The next tool is net flag VCC. So this tool or this symbol is connected to the schematic diagram where we supply the power to the schematic. And the next is net flag. So the only difference is that this net flags represent the supply voltage and this net flag shows the voltage on this terminal. We can also change the this voltage by just double clicking on it and then replacing the value. The next flag is no connected flag. This flag is used when we are not using any terminal of a component. For example, if I do not want to use the base terminal of this transistor. For that, I just click on this no connected flag and put it to the base of the transistor. So basically this no connected flag indicates that we are not using the base terminal of the transistor in our schematic. The next tool is the voltage probe. So basically this tool is connected to the circuit where we want to measure the voltage. This tool is used during the simulation of the circuit. The next tool is pin. So basically this tool is used to create a new uh, symbol for our circuit. The next tool is group or ungroup. So basically this tool is used to group two symbols or tools. For example, I just click on this rectangle tool to create a rectangle. And then I connect it to things this rectangle so we have created a new symbol for our schematic now we can group this symbol with the help of this group tool for that select them and then click on group tool give a prefix uh, like you and give a name terminal and then click on ok so now we have created a new symbol for our 
schematic. We can again ungroup the symbol. So for this, select the symbol and then click on ungroup. And we can again remove the pins from the rectangle. Now understand all the tools of the drawing tool platy. So this is document setting. So this is used to change the setting of the frame. We can choose the frame A4, A5, A3 so that when we want to print the schematic diagram then schematic will be clear. We can also change the orientation of the frame and the next tool is line tool. We can press the line tool or we can press the L key of the keyboard to draw a line in the schematic. The next tool is bezel. This is used to make curved path in the schematics. So you can make curved lines with the help of this bezel tool. The next tool is arc. This is used to draw arc in our schematic. For that click the left key of the mouse and then choose a proper radius and then start drawing the arc. So in this way you can use this tool to create arc in the schematic. The next tool is arrowhead. This tool is used to point towards any point in the schematic. We can also create an arrow with the help of arrowhead tool and the wire tool. The next tool is text. So basically text is used in a schematic for giving a title for the schematic or just describing something on the schematic area. We can also edit the text by double clicking on it and just replacing And the next tool is free hand draw. It is used to draw something on the schematic diagram. Next tool is rectangle. So it is used to draw the rectangle or a square. In our schematic. The next tool is polygon. It is used to draw the polygon in our schematics. The next tool is ellipse. It is used to draw an ellipse or circle in our schematic diagram. The next tool is the pie. This is used to create a pie shape. So this shape looks like a pie chart. We can also insert 
the image in the schematic diagram just by selecting a required image. Here is the drag tool. This tool is used to move the component on the canvas area. Right, left, up, down, left, right, up, down. And this is the set canvas origin. So it is used to set the origin of the canvas. For example, if I click on this tool and I press the left key of my mouse, then the canvas of, or sorry, origin of the canvas will be this point.